All right, so um, I went on the subreddit for Gwent and realized that um, there was a reason why I was ending up with so many copies of cards. Actually, two po potential reasons. <coughs> so one, I was told that no card that's in a deck will get deleted. So if I end up with a um, an animated copy or two animated copies, it still won't get rid of the other one if it's in a deck. Alternatively, let me check my milling instructions. Uh, I don't know how to just bring that up. Here we go. So, so I should switch to this version because. Um, This one is if I want premium and regular or something weird like that. Um, <coughs> so I'm gonna pick that one. See, that just grabbed me a whole bunch. Nice. All right. Um, so the other thing I'm gonna do is get rid of a lot of these random decks that I made. Do, do, do. Let me speed this up in editing if I remember to do so. Um, so what I was thinking is maybe I would try and make a um, a new deck based on the new cards and um, that I've gotten and, and what I can what I can do with them. Um, <coughs> but. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. For now, I'm just getting rid of all these, and then I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna exit out of the game. To um, uh, there's a promotion going on today for a free ultra premium keg. Not the one from Amazon Prime. This is a different one. Um, and uh, I mean, if nothing else, getting rid of all these decks will be nice, so that when I make um, decks. It's not going to tell me I'm at my limit. And um, because I've recorded everything, these all exist somewhere if I care to look at it. Um, but as I was looking at the abilities they've added over time, like there was not originally bleeding in the game and there was not originally, and now they have adrenaline and patience. Because of that, I think a lot of these other decks are kind of pointless. Um, there, so like I said, I have like an everything deck there. I don't even know what that means, but um, they're going to, I mean, so it's possible to win with old strategies, right? Because it's not going to match the current meta. People aren't going to, um, people aren't going to understand what I'm trying to do, why I don't have this card or that card. But I would say that there's just so much going on now that's different that I would want to consider that I don't I don't think I would want to um I guess since I was talking this whole time I won't delete this part um or fast forward or whatever but uh but yeah so we're basically just trying to swarm um legendary I'm gonna keep my Roll Inspiration 9, and that's basically like my deck when I, they're like win, and I'm like, okay, this is the one, my most winning deck. But especially for the, um, the other uh, people that I don't play often, it just doesn't make sense to um, keep those other decks where I, I didn't really understand the gameplay at the time. So I'm gonna pause this, I'm gonna come back after I redeem my, my uh, keg. All right, so I've got my ultra premium keg in here. Smash, smash. smash, smash indeed, shoop. Smash, smash indeed. All right, uh, all dupes. Here we go. People use this one against me quite a bit. So I'm going to go with this one. 
Oh, I was using this one a lot um, this last few days. I've used this one a couple times too. All right, cool. All right. Secret to soup's goody goods. Love. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, let's see here. Eclipse bundle, times the day bundle, Prince of skin, festival bundle. So the other thing I realized is, um, that, um, <coughs> I'm almost a hundred percent done with Northern realms. I think I only need like 20 more cards, but what I need a lot more of our neutral. So let's buy a few neutral cakes. All right, I'm not going to open those now. See in case the kids want me to open cakes later. But what I will do is see if I can maybe complete Northern Realms. Let's see here. Let's go to Unowned Northern Realms. So yeah, see, not that many cards left. <laughs> That's a pretty powerful card, I'll give you that. Oh, okay, I was gonna say deploying something to deploy something seems silly, but oh wow, this is this is pretty cool in both directions. Definitely get this dude. Oh, he's he shows up sometimes when I'm starting a game. All right, let's see. Another dual guy. I guess there's reasons you might want a duel versus just fighting. I'm not sure what they would be, but let's see. Let's go. It's pretty good. And not too expensive either. This is really cool. Ooh, I like this one a lot. This Nathaniel Pastodi. That seems like a good one for the Northern Realms um, power that I usually like to have where I can boost people. I mean, they'll probably be targeted for locking right away, but... That's really cool. <coughs> so you can really stack a bunch of patience units, I guess. Let's see, Thaler. Both players draw a card. I mean, could be good, could be bad. From all units. I think this means from everybody. I don't really play shields that often, though. Well, that's pretty cool. I like that one. Of course, the trouble is going to be designing a deck that actually can use these different things. Huh. That's pretty powerful. Huh. Surprise. I thought these were ordered by how much they cost or something. I mean, it's how much they cost in making a deck, but not necessarily how much they cost to craft. Huh, well that's really cool, especially if you have a, a thin deck. Um, wow, this dandelion one is awesome. Okay, 200 left. We'll do Thaler, why not? All right, that finishes all my scraps for now. All right, so um, that's me 
finally set, putting my settings the way I want them for um, for being able to get more scraps. I'll see you next time. Bye.